adjusting the X spine for different height operators. Okay. Basically, the X spine can be extended using this center adjustment here to adjust the back of the vest okay and then you have at each shoulder two screws that you need to untie it in order to be able to extend this curved slider here okay once you do this, you can basically extend the vest quite high, okay, and choose the needed height that you're comfortable with and just lock it in place again, tightening the back and tightening the two screws at each side there so that is the extension up front okay there is an extra extension if you really need to and this is on the inner side of its carbon fiber from bones there are two small allen screws that you use your wrench to undo you have to undo them completely and take them off be careful not to lose those there are some extra in the package but I mean and once you take these little screws off you can also extend here gradually the arm so this is a little bit uh, this is a small telescopic function that works for uh, every 12 millimeter position extending up if you need some extra height uh, of course you have to do it in both sides I only did one side at the moment uh, once you are settled with the height there are fixed positions for these screws okay you put the screws back tie them snugly in place and the telescopic function is secured now if you are a very uh, short operator or perhaps a girl uh, with a small body size um, basically start with the shoulder adjustment at the shortest position locked in place make sure it's there all the way in then you have some adjustment that you can do bringing the bones the front bones down to make the height even smaller 
Of course, you need to also bring the back down, okay? Uh, so it stays in a, in a comfortable position and lock it in place. So this is some extra adjustment for, for smaller size uh, operators. Um, that you can do to make the vest a bit smaller. <clears throat> uh, there are also some uh, solder rotation adjustments as well as side-to-side -side adjustments. And at the back they are located here with a single screw. You just undo this screw and the one on the other side. Now on the front, you would need to basically undo the buckles and then You have a screw here, just under the bagel, at each side, that you undo, and basically undoing those, with another wrench, you have Rotation adjustment and side-to-side -side adjustment. So if your solders, if you've got really small solders, you can bring in closer. If your solders are not very straight and are going down like this, you can rotate this accordingly. At this side. Here you go. So if you got those undone, You put the buckles in, you take a little bit the back pad so it's not, you know, fixed at the center back. And as you can see, you can rotate the solders a little bit to, for the shape or you can bring them side to side. Okay, so basically this is how you adjust for, for rotation. There are friction pads at its screw lock. So when you do them back, you don't have to over tie them, just tie them snugly. They will stay in place, okay? Um, so that's how it basically works for the rotation as well as side to side adjustment for the soldiers at the front and at the back. This is the back, this was the front, okay?